What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a little late but new video so we're going over the new update for Naruto Blazing which came out yesterday and I just didn't have time to record it at a test but uh, as you can see here I got a couple of things one is that I have 996 pearls so I'm going to go over the banner and then on the next video I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record it right away right but I'll have it separated by a day, so whenever you see the update video, I'll have the, you know, the summon video right after. So it's going to be a pretty big summon video to get back into the swing of things. And if you guys want, uh, blah, voice. If you guys want pearls in such high quantities at a discounted rate, be sure to check out Limit Breaker Stones on either Facebook or Twitter, and you know, you can proceed from there. Let's see. So first thing first, we're gonna go quickly through the through this area. But the ranking season is back for for Ninja World Clash. So you know you farm up. Let's take a look at who's new, who's who's old. But let me, let me do that first before I move into anything else. And I actually haven't opened this up. I'm still Joni. Interesting. I didn't know that I keep my. Uh, I didn't realize that I still keep my rank. It's a Kisame. Interesting. And who is the the exchange reward? It is still Tsunade. 25 days left. Okay, so they don't plan on changing that part anytime soon. Which is fine by me because I literally didn't spend <laughs> any any of the stuff that I had. Okay, I'll probably spend it all on speed pills. I gotta get these new characters jacked up. Okay, so yeah. You have 14 days for... Well, not anymore. Now it is 11 days to complete Ninja World Clash to get yourself to Kage 10th Dawn and see how it is. Now let's check out the other stuff. Before I go into the banner, Ninja Road is out with it a repeat ninja road right so the, i believe the ninja road itself is new but the characters you can get are yagura and granny chio so both of them are available and both of them have already been released before so and then we're just gonna take a look at this really quickly amayuri ringo is out in japan and i'll go over the stats once we get there but it's just an emergency mission so it's no big deal now let's go take a look at the banner and I should make a should you pull video because JP does have a new banner as well. So maybe. Uh, why does my freaking camera keep on auto focusing? Okay, no more auto focus. So here we have it Rock Lee and Gara. If you guys watched my last week's video, you would have already seen them. I'm not going to go into too much details. You know, I already went over them slightly enough on that previous video. Here is, okay, so this is the first time, wow, rate up times four, okay. Interesting, I didn't know that. This is how it's broken down, you can get your Garas, Naruto, Sasuke, and Lee from here. So this is definitely a good banner if you guys like PvP. Even without PvP, these guys are pretty good units. So, I would recommend the banner regardless. And let's see, his short range has like a billion strength. Vast range has not as much strength. And then you guys already know, but... I could have sworn this said smart range. Okay, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's, it's 11 p.m. for me right now. Okay. So let me see if I can just show this for a quick second. Let's see. If I go here. All right. This is him six star. You can pause it and take a look. This is him awoken. All right, blazing awoken. PvP stats go up, PvE stats go down. PvE meaning this green one versus AI or whatever. Six star. And then Awoken. He is hella fast. Okay, and the cool thing about Rock Lee that makes him really busted is that... Uh, I did not know this at the time of recording my previous video. Was that he has a 18 hit ultra combo on his own without the help of anyone else. 
So he's guaranteed to generate a chakra for four chakra. So he's definitely a good character. Moving on to the JP side of things, if it wants to load. We have a new swimsuit banner, right? That I believe just features a Sakura herself. I want to confirm this. Yeah, swimsuit Sakura step banner. These are her stats. It's 12%. There's also regular version. Okay, so there's a three step banner that goes 30, 40, 50. And on the on the third step, you get Sakura, guaranteed. So what makes her decent, or whatever, or you know, somewhat good, is that her dupe abilities all are 10% chance of reducing chakra, or not reducing, 10% chance of not using any chakra on her normal jutsu. So she, and it's three chakra as well, right? So she can essentially just not, like, you know, you're flipping a coin to see if she uses chakra if you max her out, which is kind of nuts in my opinion. But her PvE stats, her PvP stats aren't like anything crazy. But I don't think she'll be broken in PvP. But uh, it's, I think it's a good character to have for PvE. And her Jutsus are... Actually, I'll just play them while I go over them. 2.5 times attack and heart to all enemies in range. 50% chance of Jutsu sealing for 2 turns. Ultimate Jutsu is 6.5 times attack in heart to one enemy. Knocks them back. Deals 9% damage if they are sealed. Okay. So one of those conditional jutsus, and this is the ultimate, and I believe we get the so the swimsuit Naruto that you saw is a login bonus. What the hell is this? Jesus Christ, okay. So if you take a look at the Naruto, I believe he is a login bonus, yep. Right, so you log in, you get Naruto, uh, speed pills, you know, day one, keep on going on, and by day 15, you'll have Naruto maxed out and Naruto right here he is mid-range first jutsu is six chakra aoe 60 percent chance of reducing their attack and or jutsu ceiling for four turns so pretty good utility right there and then the ultimate jutsu is seven times attack in body to one enemy, 30% chance of reducing their attack for four turns and knocks them back. So not bad. And then he has... Actually, for a free character, he's pretty good. He has two abilities that are boost attack by 100. And then his uh, other two are one uh, boost critical rate by 1.5. Last ability is increases multiplier of jutsu by 1. So... Oh, his normal jutsu doesn't do any damage. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. So... I was like, if it did damage as well, it would have been a really good jutsu. So, he's doing like... He's just, I'd say, average or above average for a free-to-play character, specifically. So, not that bad. And then, you wouldn't really run him in PvP. He, he just dies too quickly for not enough speed. What is new? Oh, yes. Last thing is Amayuri Ringo. These are 5 star stats, 6 star stats are short range 1450 HP, 1388 attack, uh, jutsu 4 times attack, 2 skill, uh, 4 times attack and skill to 1 enemy, 25% chance of immobilization for 1 turn, ultimate jutsu 10 times attack, sorry 6.5 times attack for 10 chakra to all enemies in range, 30% chance of immobilization, and then she has boost HP by 100 for her first dupe, she has 2 reduced chance of being immobilized by 10, a boost immobilization rate by 10%, and then the last one prolongs the duration of status effects by one turn. So max abilities, you'll have a 35% chance to immobilize for two turns on her normal jutsu, and a 40% chance to immobilize for three turns on her ultimate jutsu. I'd say if they were like 10 more or 20% higher with the immobilization rates, she'd actually be a really good character. But the thing is, you know, the fact that she is a Emergency unit, it's just by default she's not going to be as good as everyone else. So that's really it. There wasn't anything else huge in this update that I think you know. Yeah, that's that's really it. Oh, there was a tease raid in Getsu Hozuki. So I guess they're just releasing the Oh yeah, we're in the middle of the war, so 
They should be interesting. Let's see how they do him. He'll be out next week in JP. And that's about it. So nothing too crazy this week. But, you know, if you are on Global, Global is actually pretty lively this weekend. You have the banner, you have, uh, you know, PvP, you have Ninja Road. So, you know, there's stuff to do. And for the first time, I'm actually going to head back into the game and play it a little bit. Jesus Christ, I got to shave. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for my summon video. I'm going to go pretty big on this one. So it all, it all depends on, you know, how quickly I get copies of Rock Lee. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.